Hi, I'm Dallas Jones with Green Training USA. Today I'm here with Joe Medosh, who's the Retrotech trainer, and he's going to show us how the brand new Retrotech 300 duct tester works and all its great features, along with the DM32 smart gauge, which we have set up here, as well as with a Minneapolis blower door. So Joe, uh, take it away and show us what you have here. Yeah, the new uh, 300 series it looks very similar to the existing uh, DU200 fan that's out there, uh, but they made a lot of great improvements. Uh, one of which is they've gone to a very small, lightweight DC motor, which makes this fan incredibly lightweight. Uh, it does have the, uh, the single shell molded um, housing, which also makes a much better tight uh, control over the system itself. They changed how their ranges work, so now it's actually magnetic. So there's a magnetic connection that happens here. And to go to the smaller, we actually have plugs that actually fill in. So this is the smallest. There's three different plugs that you give your system. And it just simply snaps in. This right here will go down to 2.5 CFM which is an incredibly tight duct system, which is becoming more of the requirement or the standard for newer code compliant houses. Uh, the smart gauge, which completely controls uh, the, uh, the duct tester, also will give me the results in code compliance language, basically CFM per 100 square feet. So these are two great features that work well together. Um, because it is so lightweight and so powerful, it can also do uh, potentially small units. It works great for passive house, uh, Retrotech now has a passive house window frame that works with uh, the 200 or 300 fan. Uh, you can also use it to do a variety of other uh, testing like individual uh, windows for uh, lead or other third party compliances. So a very uh, a, a diverse and uh, phenomenal system and incredibly lightweight. So what we want to demonstrate today is actually how to do leakage to outside. So that's uh, no longer a code compliance but a lot of third party programs do require that and it's a great test. So we have a blower door. Normally we do a depressurization test, all right? We're gonna use the, the smart gauge to control the Minneapolis um, fan. And whenever you depressurize one fan, you need to depressurize the other. So we're gonna turn the, uh, just the fan to turn it around to make it depressurize. And what's phenomenal is that I can actually go to my computer and I can control both of these gauges, see their exact screens simultaneously and do leakage to outside. So let me get this straight. I'm, I'm testing a new house. I go out and I, I um, go into the kitchen, which is about the only place I can set up. I put my notebook computer up on the kitchen counter. And once all of the equipment is set up, you're telling me that I can drive both the duct tester and the uh, blower door from the kitchen counter and see what I'm doing. That's right, anywhere in the house. You can do one separately, or what's really phenomenal is I can see them both side by side. Joe, I got to see this. Let me switch this around to depressurization and then we can do that. Okay, great. It's that simple to change it back to a depressurization test, nothing else to change or add, and uh, now we can actually go to the kitchen and I'll show you how to control both fans at one time. All right, let's do let's it. Okay, so, so Joe, what I'm looking at here appears to be two pictures of the gauges that we just had out uh, you know, by the front door. Uh, yeah, these aren't actually what? pictures, these are actually um, the application uh, virtual gauge that actually controls each of the uh, smart gauges that I have over mm -hmm. by the front door. So this one is set up to clearly run the, the new 300 duct tester. And this one, based on the icon we've selected and the uh, fan, this is running the Minneapolis um, uh, blower door version three. Cool. It's a matter of just selecting the icon. You could change any of the, uh, the, the ranges or even change it to any device uh, from any of the Minneapolis to any of the Retrotech. Well, so they're all icons, so you don't yeah. have to scroll through a, no, through right. a tedious list. And I yeah, like so it's easy to find the picture, or which one you want to use. So we're going to use the Minneapolis uh, 3 blower door. You have to pick a range. So again, it's icon orientated. We're actually running open. And so there I have my entire device and range set up and, co and confirm that that's what I'm using. Is this cool or what? So what we're going to do now is we're going to do uh, duct leakage to outside. Mm -hmm. right? And we've set up the... 
uh, both systems to be depressurizing, so they're going to be pulling against each other, but they're both referencing outside. So we're not going to go to zero. Mm -hmm. We're going to take them both to 25, and then we can also use the add feature to confirm that we're uh, at accurate when we do our duct tester. So I'm going to go ahead and start up the uh, blower door. So I'm going to do a set pressure, two, five, set. And you can hear the blower door beginning to, I can. to roll. All right. And you can see an effect on our duct. So we can now do a set pressure to five. So what's going to happen here is both the duct and the house are going to be at the same pressure. So like we all learned in training class, to have a leak, there has to be both a, uh, a hole and a pressure difference. So if the duct and the house are at the same pressure, there, there can't be any leakage from the duct to the condition space. Uh, the only leakage that we're going to, to see here is uh, to the unconditioned space. That's right. Or outside. Right, great, very good. Okay. And I can convert the, the, the duct tester, which is where we're focused on, I can uh, turn on the add feature now to actually get at 25. Mm -hmm. Um, when you test a zero, it's hard to either maintain zero or you can shoot past it, but you can't use the add feature. So I can also convert my results to my uh, code compliance, which is CFM per 100 square feet. So um, a lot of third parties still use this as a best uh, practice uh, duct testing method. So, so it's all done there for you. No calculations. You just just uh, choose the, the, the menu button. Right. And I can have done either one of these tests by itself, mm -hmm. but the convenience is I can now do them uh, together at one location and confirm that what my uh, fans are reading versus running up and down the stairs or listening to find out mm -hmm. if my fan changed. I can see exactly what the pressures are and results conveniently. This is so easy. So I think you said something uh, earlier about how you can actually download this application and uh, practice with it uh, with this virtual gauge. That's right. It's actually free software on the RetroTech website. And what makes it so user friendly, friendly is that it's the identical layout as the gauge. So if you know how to use the gauge, which is very intuitive, so is the software and it's actually controlling the gauge. So there's no learning curve. Things don't look different. Everything that I touch here actually is controlling the gauge. Mm -hmm. And what makes this a great training tool and learning tool is that you can download it free at the Red, uh, RetroTech website and you can actually use a simulation mode and practice using either RetroTech equipment or Minneapolis equipment, and it actually simulates having a gauge actually connected. So it's a great way to actually practice before you go to the classroom or even before you use some of the equipment. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. If you don't have a RetroTech 300 uh, duct tester and a virtual gauge and the free software that can do all this stuff, hey, you're missing out on the easy way to get the job done. If you call RetroTech today, they'll give you our special Green Training USA discount on the new DM32 and any RetroTech products and accessories. Order now by calling 1-855-738-7683. And don't forget, for all your energy assessment and weatherization training, visit us at greentrainingusa.com.